In view of fair trade as a global sustainable trade model is rarely mentioned and promoted to the Hong Kong public. Our group has conducted some research on the current situation of fair trade in Hong Kong. Regarding the second-hand research, HKCNA News pointed out the issues of the low awareness and low capita consumption of fair trade in their interview. Moreover, the annual reports of Fair Circle and FDHK revealed the majority of fair trade events are requiring active involvement, which is only suitable for the people who show initiative. It leads to the problems of negative promotion and limited target audiences. We also collected some first-hand research from the shop along tests and interviews. Awareness gap in education shows the issue that people forgot the existence of fair trade once they graduated from school. Second, unattractive labels caused people to have trouble identifying fair trade products. The broken connection between consumer and producer, customers don't understand how their actions can help the producers. Those are the reasons that bother people to support fair trade. To sum up the above findings, our vision statement is to offer rewarding feedback and gamified experience to increase the influence of fair trade in daily life. Let the consumer feel important to participate in fair trade continuously. To define the design criteria, we did four individual PD workshops and created a flow chart from the findings. We found that positive feedback and reward enrich the meaning of participation. Reminding users that supporting fair trade is a worthwhile action to help producers. Besides, clear meaning can motivate people to support and trust in fair trade. Last but not least, collective participation can also encourage people to take meaningful action together and join the fair trade community. Based on the above findings, blend in life is the first design criteria. Our design will be a loyalty program that fit users' daily shopping habits, which integrates fair trade into daily life. The second one is concrete meanings. There will be a donation system for users to help producers with meaningful action. Also, providing a gamified experience for users to connect with the producer who grows the product they enjoy and need. The last one is educational. Introducing fair trade six principles during the donation process and educating users with fair trade knowledge after they bought the fair trade product. Looking to support producers with your small act of love. Introducing Fairland a gamified donation app with the loyalty point system. Before downloading the app, there's a touch screen monitor and scanner for customers to interact in the supermarket. A cartoon producer will pop up on the monitor, explaining the product description and fair trade information after scanning the product. To move on to the app functions, Fairland has three main functions including donation, scanning member QR code, and coupons. App instructions will explain the background at the very beginning. After users bought the fair trade products with the member QR code, they will meet the producer in Fairland, receive a designated seed, fair points, and no fair trade is helping them. The user's avatar will plant the seed once they go back to their island. When the user earns enough fair points, they can donate their fair points or use them to exchange coupons. If the user wants to donate their fair point, they can click the donation button to preview the exchange rate of the fair point and choose which fair trade principal aspects they want to donate. Users will receive the seasonal flower seed after finishing the donation process. Unable to review the donation record by clicking the flower. My Island will also expand when the user plants enough crops on each floor. If they bought the specified amount of products and reached to treasure location, a free gift will be given to the user.